downloading Fabric 1.16.2 could not be any easier. This is going to be a very basic guide, but I will still do my best to try to help you guys out with any troubleshooting that you may have down in the comments down below. On top of Fabric, I will also be showing you guys how to download and install the API and also mod menu. Fabric API is actually required for a lot of mods, so this is one you might want to try installing, but mod menu is just optional. It is just very helpful in my opinion. The links to all these pages will be down in the description down below, and you guys can just go ahead and follow along with me. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the installer. Just go ahead and click download and it should pop up down below here. I'll ask you if you want to keep or discard, go ahead and just press keep. Same thing with the fabric API. Just go over here. Make sure you are downloading 1.16.2 for these. So go ahead and press this little button right here. It'll ask you to wait a few seconds before your download starts. After the time is up, your little pop download should pop up down here. Go ahead and press keep once again and then go over to mod menu. And once again, over here, you can see it says 1.16.2. That is the right version we're going to go ahead and press the little download button again wait a few seconds once again and we'll get our next download every single minecraft mod that you ever download will always ask you if you want to keep or discard do be careful when you are downloading stuff from the internet but from my personal experience as you can see by the fact that i'm downloading them right now before your eyes i know that these are pretty safe so just be cautious though so once you go ahead and press keep on your final mod menu you're going to go ahead and go to your downloads folder and i will see you there here are the three files that you are going to get. I personally just moved them out to the desktop because I think it's easier for presentation. Right here, we have Fabric Installer. You're going to go ahead and double click on that, or you can right click and press open. From there, this little thing should pop up and make sure that the Minecraft version that you have selected is 1.16.2. Everything from here should be good. So just go ahead and press install. And once it's done, this little thing will pop up. Go ahead and just press OK. And you're good to go on that front now. From here, we can go down into the little search box down here and type in run really quickly go ahead and press enter right here in the little run box you can type in percentage app data percentage you do need the percentage signs actually so yes type this in and then go ahead and press ok from here this page will pop up and you can see your dot minecraft folder in here go ahead and click on that and then we can scroll down and look for mods if you do not have a mods folder you can go ahead and right click inside of here go ahead and go to new and then go to folder from here just go ahead and make a new folder retitle it to mods all lowercase like this and it'll be good to go to work just the same so from here once we locate the mods folder go ahead and click on it and it'll be empty right now but we can go ahead and move our mod menu and fabric api into here you do not need to click on these at all just go ahead and move them inside of this folder and once you do that uh we are done we are good to go we can go ahead and x out of this and now we can open the minecraft launcher from here you should see right here it says fabric loader 1.16.2 if it doesn't automatically pop up in this section right here you can go ahead and click on this and scroll through here and look if you do not see it inside of here you can go ahead and go to the installations tab go ahead and press new really quickly and then go ahead and go to this little version spot go ahead and press this and as you can see this one is right at the top sometimes you do have to go searching for it a bit but as you can see it will say fabric loader build 1.16.2 you're looking for that 1.16.2 at the end and then go ahead and click on that and then you can title this whatever you want and just go ahead and press create i'm not going to do that because obviously it's already working for me i already have this but the new thing that you create will work exactly the same as this you can just name it fabric 1.16.2 it'll be good to go and you're good to go from this point we can go ahead and just press play to make sure everything is running smoothly and i will see you once we are loaded into the game and now as you can see we have loaded into minecraft and it says minecraft 1.16.2 fabric and then right here it emphasizes modded if you're wondering what the mod menu does it adds this little spot right here this little button you can go ahead and click on it and tells you what mods are installed and everything from this point on should be running smoothly so go ahead and feel free to add as many mods as you want at this point if this did help you out please leave a like on this video it really does help me out and subscribe i don't just upload tutorials i upload all sorts of other stuff as well if any of the videos that you guys see on screen right now seem interesting to you uh, it would mean a lot to me if you gave them a little click with that being said my name is taco i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day stay awesome guys i'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.